It is genuinely baffling to me that there are still some people who think you can't make money online. And to them I would just say, look around because there are so, so many people who are now making a full-time income and making an incredible income for that matter from the internet. But I think a big part of the problem is not knowing what to actually focus on. And I think another part of the problem is that when it comes to making money online, there are actually several different buckets of ideas and methods for making money. And let's be real here, there is one bucket that is filled with scammy make money online things that aren't genuine. You've probably seen ads that say, make thousands a day from home by essentially joining my pyramid scheme or by selling these dodgy things. Like, there are some bad opportunities out there, sure. But there's also so many good ones. But this second bucket then, and this is the one I think most people look in when they're trying to make money online, and this is what I think of as get paid to websites. These are websites that, as the name suggests, will pay you to do certain tasks. So for example, completing surveys, signing up to sites, all this kind of stuff. And look, they can make you a bit of money. They are genuine. There are sites that you can go to, fill things out, you will get money for it. But are these type of sites worth it? In my opinion, that is a flat out no if you live in a first world country. If you're living in a third world country, then I would say that the money you can make from this is probably just as good as you would be able to get in a job potentially. But in a first world country, the chances of you making better than minimum wage by filling out random surveys and completing these little tasks and so on, probably quite unlikely. It's, you know, it, it may be a bit close with some sites, but you're certainly not gonna make serious money from it and you're still gonna be trading your time for money for a very low amount of money with no real route out of that. And when I was younger, I kind of realized that myself because I joined several of these websites. I joined a survey one, a cashback website, I joined a get paid to click website where you literally click on certain offers and websites and you'll get a small amount each time. Joined all of them. I was wanting to make money, and this is what I thought make money online was. But I very quickly realized the earnings were not what I was hoping for, and so I went and created my own version of those websites because I realized that's where the money was. If you could own the website and be taking a percent commission from every single person who joined the site and went and clicked the links and went and signed up to these offers and deals, if you were getting a percent of that commission, but you were doing none of the work apart from owning the website, that's obviously gonna be a big win. And so then there's this other bucket of make money online, which is actually owning a website, essentially owning a business. And the problem is though, when people here make a website, make a business, they immediately get a little bit overwhelmed by this, I think, which is understandable because it sounds like a huge scary thing to do. And it also sounds like something you'd need a lot of money for. But let me just assure you right now, you don't. Seriously, as long as you have some time to actually put into learning it, I am living proof that you can learn these skills with zero funds to invest. There are so many free resources that you can use to build a website, to build an online business. And there are many different kinds as well. You've probably heard people talking about making money from e-commerce by buying items from abroad at a cheap price and selling them on. But you've probably also heard that there's this thing called drop shipping where you don't even have to buy the stock up front. You only actually pay anything once you've got money in from a customer. So that is a business model right there that with no money, essentially someone could try and start. Now to do that, you'd have to learn about marketing the website and promoting it. So again, you would need to put in time but you don't actually need a lot of money to start these websites. And that is one minor example. There are so many websites and businesses you could make. In my teenage years, one that I like to use was forums, you know, creating a niche site around a specific subject to build a community around it. And then you can make money from ads and all these different things. And there are free hosting places that you can go to host a forum. You just have to put in the work and the effort to build it. So, that's a bucket of make money that I do like very much, 
where you build your own thing. And yes, I fully appreciate that that takes more time. It's much more work to actually put planning into this, to learn how it all works, rather than just type in, make money online, do a couple of surveys. But the long-term return on investment for that time is just so, so, so much greater. That's how you're gonna be able to make real money. And you can actually then scale it, and as you get money coming in from it, you can then invest money back into it to grow it a lot faster, to scale it, and so on. The thing is, it's a bit like working out, where we're always looking for easy hacks and a quicker route to get there. You know, we all know that eating better and working out more will get us the results we want, and yet we are constantly looking for a new diet, a new opportunity where we can get the results we want without having to put in the work. And it's a little bit the same with business here. You know, there are so many business models that have been proven to work and that you can start online with very, very limited money, if not even any money at all, but they do require work, and so we kind of put them off and go, oh, I couldn't do that, that's, that's too much time, I don't know anything about that, I don't know how to make a website. Well, Google knows. <laughs> Try Google, that'll help you out. And I'm sure you already know this, I'm sure the fact you're watching this, this probably isn't new information to you, but I just wanted to reassure you that I know firsthand how that once you put in the time to learn these skills, you could build an online business with no money up front. There are so many free website makers that can get you started. And then once you have money coming in, then you can invest and improve it. And just like with working out, everything is a rep. Every time that you spend more time on learning these things and actually getting better at them, you are working your muscles, essentially, your business muscles. You are training yourself and getting better and better at these skills. And the more you use them, the better and better you'll get, just like with muscles in the gym. But then there is a fourth bucket of making money online. And this is actually what I would say is probably an easier route than going in with the idea of I'm going to build a business or a website online. And that is this concept of high income skills. Maybe you've heard that phrase before. It's just the premise that there are certain skill sets that are extremely transferable. So once you've learned them, once you've become a master at this one skill, you can always command high prices in pretty much any niche or industry because it's so transferable to other areas, to other businesses. And so those are, of course, very worth learning. And just learning one high income skill using the free resources that are online is gonna be able to start making you a very serious income online. So that sounds pretty good, right? Let's talk about what a couple of high income skills are. So you can, after this video, pick one that sounds good to you, go and start learning more about it, and then be able to command a high price for your services. You can go to businesses, you can go to other people, offer these services, and they are something that people will always be wanting to pay a lot of money for. Well, maybe not wanting to, but they do command a high price and you will be able to charge a high price for them. The first is copywriting. And I remember when I was a lot younger, I started seeing this term over and over online, like copywriting, writing copy. And in my head, I always thought for a very long time that it was referring to like the copyright law, like some kind of boring legal thing. And so I just kind of dismissed it whenever I saw it. And then eventually one day, I looked into it a bit more and I was like, oh my God, because what copy actually is, if you haven't actually heard this before, it's just the words that you use to persuade people. It's just the words that sell things. So whenever you see an advert that's using copy, whenever you see a sales page that's kind of trying to sell you on why you should buy it and that is convincing you to make a purchase, that is all copy. And if it's good copy, it can change the way you think about something and get you to make a sale that you otherwise wouldn't have if the copy wasn't good. So understanding how we can use our words to craft these powerful messages and these incredible sales propositions, that's something that is always gonna be valuable because if you can sell something in that way, then, and you can bring in a profit for a business like that, that is always gonna be good. So it doesn't matter whether you're writing emails or adverts or Facebook posts, copy applies everywhere, so it's a very, very useful skill to write, something I myself am working on a lot at the moment. And again, so many free resources out there, that would be a great starting point if you wanna make money online and you have no money to invest. Go and learn copy, go and learn how you can use your words to sell things, and I can guarantee if you put a considerable amount of time into learning that, 
you will make money online. It's as simple as that. Once you have that high income skill, you will make money. And just as a side note here, although I'm saying that these high income skills, once you've got them, you can essentially take them to pretty much any business and sell your services to them because trust me, a lot of businesses need copywriters. There are marketplaces where business owners who don't understand how to write good copy are hiring copywriters. So if you've got a portfolio of work and you can say, I've wrote these, and they can be like, wow, that would really help me get more sales if you could write something like that for me, then you are gonna be able to start working for that business commanding a high price. But you can also use high income skills in your own business or website. So if you combine bucket three and bucket four where you learn a high income skill, but then further down the road, you wanna stop working for other businesses and you wanna actually apply it in your own business, then it's gonna work extremely well. It's gonna be much easier with your website or your online store or whatever you've created if you can apply these high income skills to your own website or business. That's how you're gonna be making really, really serious money online. But maybe you don't like writing. Let's talk about another high income skill that you could learn and that is closing. The process of literally taking a lead who may be interested in the product or service, bit undecided, and you come in and actually close them and convince them that to make a sale essentially. And this is something that, again, if you can master, it doesn't matter whether you have your own business or not because other businesses will always want high ticket closers because if they can bring in you and you can take their leads who are on the fence right now and you can get money from them, of course you're gonna pay for yourself in no time. So it makes total sense to learn this skill because if you can close people, you can make a profit for a business, you are always gonna be in demand. So high ticket closing, as the name suggests, obviously is learning how to actually sell people on higher price things, which does require a different mindset, it does require a different approach than if you were just selling a $3 ebook. Now, a lot of the principles may be the same when it comes to selling, but there definitely are some key differences. So this could be a topic that you go and learn in depth. Again, lots of free resources out there. You don't need to go and buy loads of courses. Yes, they can speed up the process, but if you've got no money, but you've got time, there are so many places you can go, channels like this one that talk about these topics for free. So I would definitely recommend looking into high ticket closing and how you can turn a lead into a customer. A third high income skill, digital marketing. If you can learn how to run ads successfully, yet again, you've guessed it, businesses will want to hire people who can manage their ads for them. A surprising amount of businesses actually don't wanna get involved in marketing themselves. They don't wanna to have to learn it, they just wanna outsource it to someone and that can be you. Again, like with all these high income skills, once you've learned it and once you understand how it works, it can also be used in your own business or website in the future as well. So digital marketing I think is a great one because again, it's that principle that you are essentially just generating profit for a business. If you can get to a point where you have X amount of ad spend and you can put that ad spend into Facebook, into Instagram, into YouTube and come out with more profit than you put in, that is literally like printing money. It's an incredible skill and Again, something that is very easily learned online. There's so many resources for this. Okay, so I could go on all day here with these high income skills. There's speaking, there's consulting, there's programming. There's so many options of things which always command a high price once you get good at them. But my point is simply this, that when it comes to making money online, if you have no money right now to invest in anything, that's okay because you have time and with time you can learn one of these high income skills which is going to make you money online. This isn't some scam or fake thing. I'm not trying to sell you on anything here. I'm just saying I myself know this to be true because this is how I've made real money online before, not just the two pound surveys. And I've seen so many people use high income skills to get a six or seven figures per year money coming in consistently. So it does work and I highly recommend looking into this. But as I said, there are those different buckets. Avoid the scam bucket, obviously. You know, get good at realizing if an opportunity sounds too good to be true when they're saying, yep, you'll be making 10K a day from tomorrow, just gotta pay us all this money up front. Be wary of that, obviously. But don't be afraid of the second bucket, which is those get paid to sites. They are legitimate, most of them, but they're just very low earnings relatively. If you're willing to put in more work up front, then you can get much more 
better results out in the long term. It just depends whether you need money right this second, in which case the get paid to option is kind of okay. But if you don't, if you can wait a little bit, then focus on one of those other two buckets. Focus on either building your own website or business, which as I said, there are many business models you can do with no real funds up front. You just need to be able to get clients. For example, the YouTube business that I talk about a lot, that's something you don't really need money up front for. You can start a YouTube channel for free. You can turn your skills and interests into a channel and use that channel to get customers where you're coaching them, where you're mentoring them on that skill or where you're selling info products. That business model is something anyone can do literally with no real startup costs. Check out the first link in the description if that specific model sounds good to you. But then there's this fourth bucket of learning high income skills and this one is perhaps the best starting point if you've got no money whatsoever. Learning one of them is always, always gonna be a good use of your time, in my opinion at least. Hopefully you would agree with that and are gonna have a look into this further. If it has helped, let me know in the comments and let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about next because I'm doing daily videos on this channel right now. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you want to know. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to check out these videos if you want to really make money online.